Hey guys, what's up? It's a noob here, and today we have a pretty serious topic that I want to talk about. Basically, I am quitting Badline. I will be talking about why I am doing this, and I'll also be sharing my thoughts on the whole Badline situation, and as well as addressing the issue with people exposing each other and the toxicity issue within this community. Normally, I want to keep my videos more about bedwars and bridging. However, there are just some serious problems that I have to address. I hope you can watch this till the end because it'll only make more sense if you put everything I said in the video together. And as you can see right now, I am currently using Lunar Client, which I don't think I need to explain what's about to happen in the near future. Anyways, let's get into today's video. So I quit Badline for two main reasons. First one being the overall slacking of the developer team of Badline. I don't mean to say this to make them look bad or anything. I am simply pointing this out so now they can be more aware of the situation and can make changes that would make it more convenient for the current Badline partners. When I was still partnered with Badline, we were given permissions to use the new versions of Badline before everyone else. When everyone is using Badline 3.0, we are already using the 3.1 version. However, that doesn't mean we are on a better version. The new versions that are released often has many bugs after you get it. These bugs range from minor ones that have a visual impact to ones that literally gives you a disadvantage in game. I'm going to show you guys some of them. The first one being the replay mod bug, which some chunks don't render and some players don't load at all. You guys might think this is not a big issue since no one is really using replay mod, and on Hypixel you can just slash replay. However, as a content creator, sometimes I do need to render things in replay mod, and the most recent one being the 40 Garbager video, due to the bug, my game character completely disappeared on the replay, and some chunks doesn't load at all when I was using it. So I had to literally give up on the idea of getting a close render of me bridging, which was quite inconvenient for me. The next major bug is the problem with friends menu opening randomly in-game. So this one was serious to the point that it literally gives you a disadvantage in-game. So as you can see in the clips, I am not pressing anything else on my keyboard. At first, they think I am pressing something. Then I had I literally have to take time and make clips of me getting this bug with hand cam just to show that how it just happened randomly. I will show one more. This one is the most annoying one. For those of you that watch my video, you'll see that I have a lot of things mods set up, such as CPS, FPS counter, reach, display. Um, it takes me a lot of time to organize these things. And there were times when I just installed the newer Badline version, it completely resets everything on my layout. And I was also in the time to record, which really wasted a lot of my time. And keep in mind, at this time, these bugs are probably fixed, but it took them at least a week to patch these bugs. To me personally, I believe as a Badline partner, our job is to make good content to promote the client, but not to spend extra time helping the developer team with bug fixes. That's simply not our job, and it really shouldn't be us that's reporting these bugs. What pissed me off more is that there were times when I got a new Badline update, I can find a bug within 10 minutes of using it. That for me is just ridiculous because it also led me to question the quality of job that the developers are doing. According to the contract, when someone buys the cosmetic in the store, Badline gets to take a lot more than 50% of the revenue. I'm not going to share the exact amount because I hope to protect the privacy of the current Badline partners. For me, since I am still a high school student, I am not really that desperate for money. I live with my parents and I don't have to worry about food and paying bills. The deal went fine with me back then and I thought it was already a pretty cool thing to partner with Badline in the first place. But thinking about this, when they take more than 50% of what I make and still do a poor job on improving the client, it just didn't make sense for me at all. Again, I am not saying this to offend or criticize the Badline developers. I still respect them for working hard on the client, 
it's really the owners to blame for doing such a poor job on assigning people jobs and roles during the process of releasing a new version. The second reason why I left Badline is because of the whole Badline drama. I believe most of you watching the video are already aware of this whole situation behind Badline that made its reputation so bad. It's almost to the point that where if you go to someone and tell him the word Badlion, the first thing that comes to his mind is pedophile. So just for context, for those of you who don't know, the owner of Badlion got exposed for being a pedophile because he was dating someone that is 16 years old. And that literally happened years ago. There were multiple content creators that made exposed videos on him and basically that's where the drama began. And that's how Balan's reputation was ruined. Personally speaking, um, I watched these exposed videos and I just thought that these videos are really flawed. It lacks evidence on many of the points. It's also overly exaggerated and finally it's also pretty biased because the content creator is only judging the situation based on his own perspective. And I don't think his perspective can stand for everyone watching the video. I'm not going to be discussing this part specifically in detail, but at the same time, I am not saying this to defend him, nor do I support this type of behavior. So people may wonder, oh, so you were aware of the situation, then why were you a Badline partner until now? Why were you supporting Badline client back then? So as mentioned previously, there is a contract. Before we partner with Badline, we all have to sign a contract that lasts six months. I signed my contract last year in around September, which is also why I left now because it expired sometime in March this year. And at that time, when I signed the contract, there weren't any drama and everything seemed fine. The sad thing is that all the drama happened right about the time when I just signed the contract. I guess I was somehow very unlucky on this one. However, since I signed the contract, I will take full responsibility for my action. And therefore, I should do my best as a Badline partner and to promote the client. The same goes to other Badline partners. What we're doing is basically taking responsibility for our actions since we signed the contract. There really isn't anything wrong with that. However, the toxic people in the community are really just ruining it. For those people, any action of us promoting anything Badline related is the same as supporting pedophiles. If you really think about it, it makes absolutely zero sense. But literally, my comment section was filled with people hating on me simply because I was promoting my new Badline cosmetic. For me, when I did nothing wrong and everyone is blaming me for someone else's mistake, it really ruins my day. I believe the same goes to other people that are currently partnered with Badline. We never did anything wrong and we never deserve to be treated like this. If you really hate the behaviors of Badline owners, you should go straight to them and send hate to the owners of Badline. You can choose not to buy any Badline cosmetics so they don't get any money. You can even choose to not use Badline at all. But if you're just going to hate on content creators that are partnered with Badline, you're basically nothing other than a brainless hater. Finally, let me emphasize this again. We content creators did nothing wrong that made us deserve the hate. Right now, I am still going to say this for people that just decide to not use their common sense. By partnering with Badline, it doesn't mean we support pedophiles. We are only taking responsibility for signing the contract and doing our best as a content creator. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. It is literally that simple. Everyone knows, yet they still go around making it hard for us. So at some point, I really wanted to show my channel to my parents. And for those of you who don't know, I have Asian parents and they never really supported me when I wanted to do video games related stuff anyways. Months ago, I want to show them my channel and all the support I've been getting. However, there are just always toxic people leaving comments saying how I support pedophiles because I'm promoting the client. There are just so many comments about this. And again, I don't think I've ever done anything wrong that made me deserve this hate. And to some extent, there are just people treating me 
as if I was the pedophile. This for me doesn't make sense at all, but eventually I gave up on the idea of showing my parents my channel. So basically IRL, um, besides a few close friends of mine at school that knows me and the existence of this channel, nobody else does. Well, you might think that there are not really that many toxic people. I mean, Bedless, it, it's not too many people. It's just a few hate comments you can get over with. It's just suck it up. Well, you know, I am going to show you guys that I'm not just messing around. So right now I am in my YouTube studio page. Just go into the comment section. In YouTube studio, you can basically put a word and it'll search for every single comment that contains this word. So right now, I'm just gonna put the word pedo in the search bar. And right now, as you can see, so, and this is how much result that comes up. And do you think that was it? No, it still goes on. I can still scroll down. This is crazy. This is absolutely madness. Like, why are people like this? It doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so right now I am going to turn on word search and now I'm gonna put the word pedo again. And re keep in mind, we're not even at the bottom yet. And there are already so many results of the word pedo. Like, you know, I also get comments like, oh, Bedless, you should just tell your parents about your channel. But, well, how do you expect me to tell anyone about my channel when my comment section is literally filled with words saying that I work with pedophiles? So from this, you can see that this community is just extremely toxic. They just have so much negative energy waiting to be expressed online because they believe that since they are sitting behind the screen texting with an account completely irrelevant to him or her IRL, they can just say anything they want to someone without thinking about the consequences. If you're an active viewer, you will know that I have a habit of hearting every comment that I read. And when I go through these comments, it really just hurts my feeling. So finally, I've been doing YouTube for less than two years and I am already very disappointed at this toxic community. I don't mean to create some utopia where everyone is happy because I know that is definitely not possible. But for me personally, as a content creator, we should influence people positively, but not to promote toxicity. It really makes me sad when content creators are just dropping videos exposing each other. The person that exposes someone gets exposed for something else the next day. I'm not mentioning names here, but I think you guys know which ones I'm talking about. On the outside, they think by doing those exposed videos, they're making the community a better place. But are they really? How can a community possibly become a better place through public shaming and sending massive amounts of hate towards a specific person? Let's take Badline situation as an example. If the owners were actual pedophiles, then the real correct thing you should be doing is to report them to the police, because this is obviously illegal. There are multiple numbers and services you can contact online, and you should be giving them the proof and there will be actual professional people that will handle this professionally. Instead of doing that, people just drop a whole exposed video on each other. I don't think that's really going to get anywhere. In the end, as viewers, you as viewers watching this video need to remember, we are content creators after all. Our success is largely impacted by our views. So God knows what their true intention is when they are making a whole exposed video on someone. So finally, what can you guys possibly do to make this at least somewhat better? After watching this, I hope you can at least stop making fun of content creators that are partnered with Badline. They are already having such a hard time standing in the point of view as a content creator. It's already a lot of pressure just from running the channel. But seriously, just don't make it harder for them. So overall, I quit Badline because of the slacking of the developer team. My reputation is being damaged due to something that was basically not related to me at all. Finally, the overall toxicity of the community. I cannot change the way how people think. 
if people are just that toxic and lack common sense and the only thing in their mind was to send hate to people that are using badline client, then there really isn't anything that I can do other than switching out. So in the end, I guess this is what also those toxic people are trying to accomplish, eventually driving out everyone from badline. To those toxic people, you really did a great job, but do you really think this is the correct way to solve an issue? Are you really happy with the result? And finally, did you really accomplish anything at the end of the day? Anyways, that's it for me. Soon, I should be releasing my Lunar Client Cloak. And yes, I am yielding after everything that's happening. I am switching to Lunar Client. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you can consider my words. Thanks for watching and peace out.